this is teacher mel and i'm really sorry because this is just again the time that i can upload a video uh for us teachers so with uh for those uh fellow teachers who have been asking me uh from my previous blogs uh, vlogs on how uh, they can make sure that the students can see them and they can see also the student while they are on the sh share screen mode this is the video to answer your queries about it. okay so without so much ado we're going to start now all right so here we are now guys we are going to start um the walkthrough of how i, I usually share my screen with my students um making sure that they see me and i also see them so let's try first with um for students who are using the mobile phone or the ipad they are actually just the same so i have here oh, let me just set up my phone for this one so for now i already have here my uh my voob meeting open so we are going to use my what you call this one my uh, my personal meeting id okay i'm so sorry okay so we are just going to record okay wait a moment let me just check it here first Okay. That I have. Okay. So I already joined here on my phone, but the meeting hasn't started yet. So I'm going to start the meeting now. So let us just check it. Okay. So there you go. All right. So I have already entered here. This is me on my mobile phone. Okay. So this time I'm going to share my screen here. So let me just share my screen from here. You see it here, right? At the bottom. So let me share a screen. Okay. When you share your screen, you will see a lot of windows in here. So like I said, I always introduce to my fellow teachers the combination of VUV and uh, Classin for a more organized and for teachers to be able to use also the interactive tools are features of class in so we have here this apps that have been opened so let me just click on the class in and these are the windows that i have for class in of course i have to click on the class room blackboard okay so once i have it here and if i want to share some audio okay in the future or in the class during the class i should say i just have to share pc audio okay and for the video fluency this will reduce the usage okay of uh, your video and it will mm, create a more fluent okay a, a more fluent usage of your video is that how they call it but it will just make your video not so laggy Okay, so I'll always have this one. Okay, you also have another one in here, but this one is an on-screen portrait mode, which I'm going to share also or show you later. So let's start first with this one, video frequency preferred. Because once you click this one, you won't see the video of yourself and also the student. So maybe that's probably one of the questions that you want, okay, and answer where you can you check on the video so that you can open both the teacher's video and also the student's video so let's do it and then share okay there you go guys so now we are here on this window the blackboard the class in blackboard window and if you noticed you can see uh the right part okay in here on the top almost the top there's an arrow right it's when you click on this one it shows show floating list in this part okay i'll just have the mark here this part okay so i'll click on this one and you see it already shows my video and also the video of my student okay but take a note that there are also three icons on the left of this bar so let's just check what they are so the second one i mean the square one is just my video the teacher's video okay that you see on the screen the teacher's screen 
And in here, you just see no one. Okay? Because this one is from my camera itself. Okay? So let's do it again. This one has no video at all. This one is a teacher's video only. But the third icon shows both the teacher's video and also the student's video. Okay? And if you want this to to be hidden, you just have to click on that. And if you want it to open again, you just have to click on that. Okay, so it's easy as that. Now, let's go to the, the side of the student, okay? So, okay, so this is the screen of the student, right? So right now, originally, the student can only see the teacher's video. But if the student wants to see herself, she only has to click on the um, person icon on the top in here, in this part, okay? So you see that, that there's a floating video of the student here already, okay? And if the student wants to make the screen landscape, the student only needs to click on this, okay? And it's already landscape mode, okay? And if the student wants to go back, only needs to do the same thing there, okay? Put it back. And for the annotation, you can see it there, the more. Okay, chat, annotation. Okay, that's it. And usually if they want to open something, they do the floating mode there. Okay, and then now if you want them to share their screen, they can share their screen. It's already there. Now we're going to try to share a screen as well using the other one earlier. Wait. So click on this one. I'll go to this. I have that one. Now it's a video fluency but on screen mode. Let's check it. Okay, there you go. So I have here this one, my video. Right. So it's just like you in here. Yeah, let's, that's fine. So this is the on screen video. But you can still see yourselves in here, but you can hide this and you just put it here. Okay, so that is just like floating and you are teaching here. Okay, but I don't really use this one. Okay, so that's it, guys. So I hope that you are already able to understand that. Okay, so there you have it, guys. It's just as simple as that, actually. So I hope that I was able to answer the questions of my fellow teachers in here who are wondering how they can make sure that the students see them or uh, them seeing the student. That's all. Until next time, I hope you would subscribe to my channel for more updates on um, some trends in online teaching. Bye!